Hey everyone, it's Shayna and I'm here with a vellum and acetate tutorial. This is not only how to create designs, but also how to print it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here to Canva and I'm going to use a template. I did a Canva tutorial a couple weeks ago and mostly went, I went through the basics of Canva, but what I usually search for is minimal in the template search. So right now I'm just looking for a design that I like. I found one, so I'm going to click on it. Sometimes it has multiple designs within that. So I liked this design, but I didn't like what it said, so I'm going to ungroup it and I'm going to change the wording a little bit. I'm kind of on this your planner, your rules kick. So I'm just going to change the font here a little bit, mostly the words and the sizing. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to download it. So if you're doing a single image, you can do a PDF print and do the crop marks and bleed and download it that way and just print it straight on Adobe Reader or whatever PDF Reader, Acrobat or Reader, whichever one you have. What I try to do though when I'm printing vellum is I like to take up as much of the page as I possibly can. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make another design, just look for another minimal design. I'm going to copy the same background color here and I'm going to change the font color of the inhale. I liked the words just as they are, so I'm going to keep that. But then I'm going to go in here and I'm actually going to download it as a PNG file and I'm just going to download the whole thing. And what that does is it allows me to bring it into Silhouette Studio and edit it a little further there. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Silhouette Studio. This is a free program. You do not need a Silhouette cutting machine to be able to download this and use it. You don't even need it for the not free version. Um, so I use this a lot for just printing stuff. So I just set up my settings here with no cutting machine, no cutting mat, and I'm going to go ahead and open my files into Silhouette Studio. And what I end up doing, and there may be an easier way to do this, but this is the fastest for me, is I open them in Silhouette Studio, I cut them and paste them into the initial document, and then I just get them lined up and then I can print two on a page and I'm not wasting that vellum because it feels like such a waste if I'm just going to print one thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this also in Adobe Reader and you can see the cut lines here if you're doing just a single file. But the other thing I want to show you is how to actually get this to print. So what I do is I go in here, here's the dialogue, the printer dialogue. I go in here to properties and I actually select print quality draft because then it doesn't take as much ink and it doesn't take forever in a day to dry. If it's a black and white, I select print and gray scale and sometimes I do save ink or toner as well. So the biggest trick to printing vellum on a normal inkjet printer is to take a normal piece of paper. This is just some 20 pound paper. There's my vellum. And what I do is I take some just run of the mill scotch tape and I tape the vellum onto the normal printer paper. This is legitimately like 20 pound printer paper, nothing special. I don't print inserts on this. Um, so I just tape it on both sides. And what the thing is, most printers can't actually see the vellum because for one, it's really thin and for two, it's see-through, right? So what this does is it actually allows the printer to see your paper because of the normal paper behind it. And I'm going to flip it over because my printer, I'm showing the little icon there, it has, it prints on the bottom. So I flipped it over, vellum side down, and I'm just going to go ahead and print it. So here we go, printing away. And it's really quick because I have the draft print on, so it's not going to take too much ink. And it's just going to spit right on out. I'm going to go ahead and take the plain paper off of the vellum. And because this vellum that I use is actually a thicker vellum than I normally use. The background that I chose actually doesn't really show up, which I think is really funny. But anyway, now I'm going to cut it. This is a little more complicated on this one. And I did end up cutting this wrong simply because uh, 
the background i couldn't see the background on this paper i haven't printed on this thicker vellum before i just got it in the other day and i wanted to try it out and it just didn't work out for me <laughs> by the time i got to this next cut i was like or the cut after this i'm like wait so i definitely cut it out wrong i'll still use them though i don't mind but i guess just kind of a suggestion that if i mean there is one thing about not wasting the vellum, but on the other hand, you also can have the cut marks. So, I mean, you can also, I believe, with the designer edition, I think it's called, of Silhouette Studio, which I do technically have, you can import PDFs. You can't do that with the free version. So, that's why I didn't show it, but with the with the paid version of Silhouette Studio, you can actually import PDFs. So I could have done the cut marks on both and imported it as a PDF and had the cut marks, and that would have been way easier. So there we go. That's the end of it. I hope this was helpful. Thank you, as always, so much for being here. I always greatly appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Next